Okay, guys, welcome to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Now, I've been wanting to record this for quite a while, and and by that I mean two things. First of all, for a couple of months I've been wanting to play, ever since I had the, uh, ever since I've, you know, started the channel, I've wanted to play some Cataclysm, because that's a really good game, honestly. Um, and second of all, I have been wanting to play for about five hours, but because of the way that OBS works, it just kept crashing, and I had to go look up some random solutions, I ended up in updating my drivers, and it was AO alright, and now it doesn't crash anymore. Maybe that was why XSplit also crashed, so that's, that's beside the point, that's on my end, that's not on yours. So here, I want to do some Cataclysm, I got hit by the zombie infection bug, and you know, you really, I really just wanted to play a game where I was in a zombie apocalypse, because, you know, who doesn't? I've configured all the options beforehand, so I don't have to go through this now, and we should be good to go. So, let me start off by saying Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead is probably my second favorite game, uh, in terms of roguelikes, at least, um, Crawl being the first one. Now, Cataclysm is basically a sandbox-esque game, where you essentially start off as a survivor in the Cataclysm, and um, after the Cataclysm, zombies are everywhere, and you can find a whole bunch of enemies, uh, ranging from NPCs, which are other humans, you can find, you know, zombies. I believe, um, excuse me, uh, the Left 4 Dead 2 zombies are also in here. There are creatures from Lovecraftian horror. And there's a bunch of other ones. I don't really remember. It's been a very long time since I've played. Uh, but I'm pretty excited, so I'm going to hop in. And we will... Like, I haven't played for ages, so, you know, I'm going to be pretty much trying to discover as much as I can. I, I didn't play too much of this game when I first started, but, you know, I'm going to, um, you know, walk this through with everyone so we can all play together, I guess. So we're going to go to pre-custom character. Now, the problem with this game is, unfortunately, it's a little bit like buggy sometimes this is not the stable version it should be but it's not and uh yeah kind of sucks uh evacuee so this is all the scenarios that you can do evacuee is just the most basic one uh so you've survived the initial wave of panic and have achieved relative safety in one of the many government evac shelters so that's going to be what i'm playing this time around uh i don't remember what stats do uh so i'm going to read through this uh basically this is going to be more of a i guess let's play e style um, playthrough because unlike Crawl, uh, which is like more session based, this is really one guy and you try to survive. Um, and it's more like we're crafting a bit of a story here, right? So, okay. Strength makes you more resistant to many diseases and poisons, and it and actions that require brute force are more effective. It seems that it increases our base HP, our melee damage, and our carry weight, which is okay. Dexterity improves our decreases range penalty and seems to give accuracy and throwing. I don't really need that yet, I don't think. Intelligence is good because it reduces reading time. I vaguely remember reading is to use used to level up skills. And perception helps us look for traps. So it's basically traps and doors from crawl, so it's useless. Haha. <laughs> Got him. Um I guess we'll put a couple of points in strength. That seems to be the most effective one. I'm not really sure. Uh, we might need more int. Who knows? Okay, let's just leave it at, at uh, 8 everything, and then we'll think about it later. So let's go... So this character, this allows us... Uh, this option, traits, lets us look at the good and bad. So I'm not going to min-max too badly. Um, just because, like... Uh, how about I just play as myself, I suppose. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll just think about what I can do uh, as a human, I guess. Uh... I guess I'm not really a fast learner, am I? Um, maybe I'm a fast healer. I guess we gotta pick some some good stuff, right? I'm definitely not fleet-footed. Uh, I've got good memory, I suppose. I uh, probably have Gormand, yeah, I guess. Um, I'm pretty infection resistant. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a if that's one that's good. Less sleep, light eater, light step, martial arts training, masochist. Well. I'm playing crawl, so may uh, I don't want to. Uh, that's <laughs> that's pretty bad. Pack mule sounds pretty cool. I guess I can hold stuff. I've been holding stuff for a long time. Uh, 
robust genetics. I don't I don't know. Um, strong back, strong stomach. Uh, stylish substance tolerance, terrifying. Uh, thick skinned, tough tough feet. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm tough, so I'm just gonna leave all these. Uh, addictive personality, definitely. That's uh that's me. I do have asthma. I guess. Uh, I have a bad temper. Do I have a chemical imbalance? Let's see. You suffer from a minor chemical imbalance, imbalance, whether mental or physical. Minor changes to your internal chemistry will manifest themselves on occasions such as hunger, sleepiness, and narcotic effects. I don't know about that one. Clumsy as hell. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty flimsy, but I don't know. Lost jaw, hates fruits, hates vegetables, heavy sleeper, high thirst. I am very thirsty. Hey. Oh, I can only pick so many bad ones, but look how many I have here. What the hell? Uh, junk food intolerance, lactose, meat intolerance, mood swings. I guess I have mood swings. Uh, maybe not. Uh, nearsighted, pacifist, poor hearing, savant, schizophrenic, uh, sleepy. I am pretty tired right now. I want to go to sleep. But I also want to play. Ugly. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, pretty true to, true to form, right? Alright, so that's about it. So I guess we have more bad than good. Um, maybe we'll pick up, like, I don't know, thick skin or some crap. Uh, nah, let's just not. Alright, profession. So this lets us look at stuff. I am a poor student. Um, well, I guess, I guess I'll just be a regular student. Is there a student here? Uh, rabbi, teacher, senior citizen, rude boy, what the hell? <laughs> Kanushi, what what is that? I don't even know what half of these are. All right, student, that's me. Yeah, go. It cost me one point. What? Why? Oh, because I have a backpack. Okay, I'll take it. What's a preppy student? Parents are busy, important people, uh, who wanted you to have every advantage. Really? So, it, but it doesn't give you. It, it's even worse than the other one. Okay, whatever. Fine. I don't want that one. Um. Now let's scroll this stuff. No, this this looks fine. All right, let's. Keep going. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, points. It's basically like the crawl distribution, except you 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 instead of like um, I, you can choose your starting levels, I guess, which is pretty good. Now, from what I remember, I think bashing weapons was pretty good. Um, dodging is pretty sick to have. First aid. Um. I think survival and tailoring are pretty good. I'm not. I'm not really sure about the other ones. Um, and I suppose that having just melee is good. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess. Why not? And we'll just call myself demise for now. Uh, so this seems to be our starting setup. We don't. We have no points left. Um, I guess I will. Press exclamation mark to save this. It's me. Uh, so yeah, let's without without a further ado, let's start. I guess. So we finished our kind of character creation, and now we are in the game. Um, so let me quickly tell you that I am using a tile set called Re Retro ASCII, and the reason why I use um, Retro ASCII is because it looks closest to ASCII, which is really easy to read for me. Um, not in crawl, it's not easy to read in crawl, I just hate it in crawl. But here I actually, when I was playing, I could never understand the tiles, it made no freaking sense at all. Tiles, and also, when I played in ASCII, the lag was a lot less, but since I'm playing on my main computer, that's not an issue, but I still can't read the damn tiles on this in this game at all, because there's so many uh, different tile sets. So let's uh, quickly go over what's, what's happening. So right now, we're in a room, uh, that square box is there. You can see me. Uh, I'm here. Oh man, there's delay. No, please. Oh, I might have to switch to regular ASCII then. But you can see me there. Um, I'm Demise. Uh, if you can look, if you look at the right hand side, uh, you can see the descriptions of stuff. Uh, you can see the health bars of the head, torso, left arm, right arm, whatever. Focus. I have no idea. Speed. I'm 10 speed. That's fine. Um, you can vaguely see what I'm equipped what I have equipped. There's a really small mini-map. And that little colon um, pipe thing tells me my mood. Uh, I do not remember at all how to play this game, so yeah. 
Uh, and I'm not going to play as if I'm a min-maxer. I'm going to actually try to play as if I am an actual... Uh, if I was actually in the zombie apocalypse. Because I think I think that'd be more fun as a... Uh, you know, as a bit of a... Joke. Not a joke. Michael War Who the hell is that? Okay, I think maybe I may have killed a character beforehand. Whoops. Okay, so... um. Let's ignore this guy, who we may have accidentally killed. Let, look, for role-playing purposes, he died, alright? He died. He was our mentor and he died. Everything looks re really weird. Oh, by the way, uh, I apologize if you see a black bar at the bottom of the screen. Um, that's because I can't seem to record this game in full screen. Uh, it tends to glitch out really badly, so I chose not to. Um, I may fix it in the... Pre uh, further videos, but I'm just going to have a look. Right right now, I'm basically just playing to kind of get acquainted with, reacquainted with the game. I may die and start again. So we're in the land of Tony Strickland, and I just pressed M to open up my map, and this is a bunch of, uh, so I'm right here, where the at is, and there are a bunch of roads that lead into this town up here. Uh, and there are a whole bunch of houses here, which are the green things. There's a fire station, a house, there's a gas station, there's another house, and yeah, just a bunch of houses. So there seems to be a coffee shop over here, a fitness gym. Uh, we stay away from gyms because, you know, exercise is terrible. Pharmacy, restaurant, and over here, there seems to be a hospital. Um, so as a, uh, as a player, so as a human, I have just, I'm inside this really dark, uh, holy crap, it's raining. Okay. Who, who is Tony Strickland? What? Oh, that's not the place, that's the person. Okay. Apparently I'm talking to someone. Um, hang on. I actually can't tell where the hell he is, so... Oh, there he is. Okay, well, he looks like a piece of rain, but alright. So Tony Strickland says, at least we've got shelter. Wanna travel with me? Why should I travel with you? Persuade. You can keep me safe. Awesome. I... don't really care about this guy. Uh, he's, he's too, like, we don't know him. I cut my left, what? I cut my left arm on the window frame. Oh, so apparently I crushed, I think I smashed the window, I guess, and I cut my arm. Alright, whatever. That's fine. So I'm a student, and, uh, I'm heading out into the great unknown. I know there's a town to the north of me, so I'm gonna go ahead and try head there. What was that? Oh. Oh, okay, so what Tony... I think from what's going on, Tony is shooting at uh, something over in the distance. Yeah, that's a .300 casing there, so he's actually shooting. Uh, this rain animation is actually bothering me a little bit. Okay, so there is already a thing coming towards me. It's a tough zombie. God damn it. Alright, I don't have the power to really deal with a zombie. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up a rock. Um, yeah, I'm kind of spooked. Uh, we're playing crawl now. I'm gonna toss the rock. How do I toss the rock? Damn it! How do I throw the rock, man? Oh, it's T. Okay. Throw the rock. I did two damage to it. Oh my god, sick. All right. So one thing that you gotta know about this game is that uh, oh, he's shooting at it. Oh, go shoot. Bang. What? I don't know. I guess he's shooting. Okay. I have no idea why he looks like that. To be honest, he looks like a bit of rain. Ah, uh, whatever. That's fine. Shoot at it. Yes, you got him. Good job. Uh, I have to butcher this corpse, right? Can I eat him? Eat him. Oh, it's tainted meat. Gross. I don't want to eat him. Never mind. Let's head to the north and... Oh my god, this guy's actually gonna... Okay, can you... Can I... How do I tell this guy to piss off? Because he's drawing all the zombies towards us. I... Towards us. I'm pretty sure that noise is... Oh god, this animation is terrible. Alright, well... Looks like I know what to do for next part. Uh, I'm definitely going to turn that off. And I might switch to terminal mode. Because it's less laggy. Fat zombie corpse. Oh god. Alright, this guy is just shooting like crazy. What the hell's wrong with him? Child, Zombie child spotted. No, don't stop butchering. Come on. Just keep butchering him. Yeah. Alright, so I have a feeling that either my game crashed or... Yeah, there we go. The game is crashing. So I'm actually going to stop this part really early. Um, just because I want to fix all this stuff. I'm going to come back and this will all be fixed. But you've got a little bit of an intro, I guess, to the series. Uh, it's going to be a wild ride.